Hello everyone, Silverstruck here. Welcome to the Silverstruck channel and a two-part video. Here in part one, I'm going to talk about some really cool silver. I, I got a uh, very rare refinement bar to, uh, to share with all of you. And I'll also be updating my tiny bar collection. And in part two of the video will be a good old-fashioned mail call. So if you want to hang out and uh, check out some really cool mail from the community, I encourage you to do so. But if you're here just for the silver, of course, Let's get right into it. We're going to start here with the star of the show, a 40 gram refinement bar. Now it did originally come uh, in this package from Silver Bar Stacker. I just uh, have taken it out so that I could hold the silver. I really wanted to see this bar up close. And here we have it. Refinement is uh, one of my favorite vintage refiners to collect from. As of late, I'm a new collector with refinement. Uh, three nines fine silver, 40 grams, so right around 1.2 troy ounces. Really cool eagle on the obverse. Very reflective bar. And as we flip it over to its reverse here, we can see uh, that it says uh, basically three nines silver. Repeated in the center. We have a pretty cool design right there. Neat. So, uh, so pretty neat silver, very, very scarce, hard to find. I've never seen a bar like this before. Uh, so although it is a larger uh, bar than a uh, one troy ounce, that doesn't count as my tiny, tiny bar collection, I wanted to share it uh, with all of you. And I also picked up a few other items from uh, SBS at the time. He uh, threw in this uh, nice little gram, which is awesome. I love these little gram bars he has, SBS silver gram. And then I also purchased a random round from him, and I was very pleased to get this one, 1982 Vintage Round, 3 nines fine silver, 1 troy ounce. As we flip it over here, you can see it's a Monox Round International. Beautiful. Really nice round. So, I'm uh, very happy with that. I did not have one in the collection, so that's cool. As far as my tiny bars go, most of the tiny bars I have, I guess, would be, you know, your your typical Johnson Matthew variety. So I was at the LCS and he had this. So, of course, I picked it up. I think this might be one of the last ones I'll bother getting. As you can see here, it's, uh, it's in a flip, but you can see that it's also original packaging inside that flip. So that's the uh, third bar I'd have with original package, uh, which is very nice. I love these little Johnson Matthew 5 grammars. But I feel I have enough in the uh, the stack. And then this bar, I was trying to do some research on. Could not find a lot about them. I was able to find two of them. These are also 5 gram. American Silver Bullion. There's a little 5 gram mark down here. Nice eagle on the obverse. And as you can see, it's a Silver Bullion. American Silver Bullion on the reverse with a scale. Stars all the way around, so really cool little bar. This one's pretty thick, so you might notice the size difference here between the Johnson Matthey and the uh, American Eagle bar. Uh, these are as thick as you're going to get for a five gram piece, and the uh, the JMs are a little bit more wafer like. So let me get these into my book. The tiny bars are now in this uh, collection, this page I'm working on. And of course, I'm just going to uh, point out uh, this bar right here, a 5 gram uh, refinement bar. So that's uh, the bar that actually kicked off my refinement collection. Then of course, I have some other vintage bars in here. And I was talking about uh, these Johnson Matthews quite a bit. Uh, so we have these original Johnson Matthews. That's the new one. And then nice to have a few extra uh, different types of bars here with a pair of American Eagle bars. So uh, pretty neat little uh, tiny bar collection going on. I have a few more uh, spots left in the page here. So hopefully I can fill this page up with some more 5 gram tiny bars. Now for part two of the video, and here we have some really cool stickers that have been mailed to me from members of the community here. We're going to start uh, with Legacy Stacker. This is a channel that just hit 1,000 subscribers uh, not too long ago and has a really nice uh, sticker. I'm sure we all uh, recognize uh, what's on the obverse of this sticker here. And we have uh, two different varieties, so I'll be getting uh, some mail out to 
Legacy stacker in a sticker trade very soon, so it was really good uh, to see these stickers as I've been watching his channel for quite some time, and so I will certainly reciprocate with some uh, Silverstruck stickers. Then I received new stickers from some old friends. Uh, here we have uh, Trident, and uh, Trident's been around for quite a while, and he is the mayor of Silvertown, and here we have a Silvertown bar. I was uh, very tempted to use uh, this sticker in my last video. Thanks for your vote, the mayor, because <laughs> I was the last video was on Silvertown bars, so the timing was uh, was quite nice. Uh, so that's cool. Love that sticker. Uh, Trident always uh, cracks me up with his humor, and I do enjoy watching his content. Uh, here we have another old friend. You may have uh, known this particular channel in the past under a different name. Here we have Bone Powder, 100% pure, and the Kansas Kid sticker. So there he is, Kansas Kid. So uh, certainly happy to, to add these stickers to the collection, uh, certainly. And of course, uh, if you have not subbed Kansas Kid or Trident or Legacy Stacker for that matter, uh, please wander over to uh, their channels and show them some support. And one last bit of mail comes to me from a, a good friend of mine here on YouTube. And uh, it was surprising because I got his original letter returned to me. And I just thought uh, that was kind of interesting. I've had a lot of trouble with mail, so I'm going to show you guys something uh, just uh, just as an example. So here we have, uh, this was mailed out uh, November 29th, 2022 to Constitutional Stacker. And it was just returned uh, to me here. Um, let's see if that's the date. Yep, there's the uh, date right there. So, uh, 10, 8, uh, 23. So basically about 11 months out there, uh, this original letter. I'd already sent him out a replacement letter, uh, but this letter, uh, came back to me after almost a year, which is just insane. And I've lost a lot of letters out there. Who knows what else I have out there. And so he, uh, he sent me a nice gift here says uh, thank you and uh, what he's referring to is a uh, super chat in a uh, live stream I gave him and check out what he sent Silverstruck your kindness kindness is unlimited thank you brother CS he sent me 75 cents of uh, Kennedy face value Kennedy's 1964s that's just super nice I mean that was he didn't have to do that that was fantastic and uh, I do like watching uh, Constitutional Stacker. Uh, I try to watch as many of his videos as I can. So uh, thank you for putting out some wonderful content. And if you don't know who Constitutional Stacker is, uh, is another channel that I recommend uh, you check out. And uh, definitely worthwhile uh, viewing his channel, as well as all of these uh, wonderful channels here in front of us. So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, don't forget to leave me that comment in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching.